Trump says Obamacare is dead. Following vote in Congress to repeal and replace health insurance law as key Republicans surround him for Rose Garden victory lap. House Speaker Paul Ryan held a vote on the House GOP Obamacare replacement bill Thursday afternoon and it passed 217 to 213. The close result is enough to send it to the Senate for the next round of haggling. President Donald Trump called Obamacare, quote, dead and praised Ryan in a White House Rose Garden ceremony for bringing the bill across the finish line. Several GOP moderates got on board with the plan Wednesday afternoon, breathing new life into President Trump's second attempt to repeal Obamacare. The song, Na Na Na, Hey Hey Goodbye, which was from the Beatles, was heard rattling loudly through the House chamber as the vote tally was announced. It was a taunt from Democrats who believe they will kick out the GOP majority in the 2018 midterm elections as a result of the vote. President Donald Trump said Thursday that Obamacare is dead, celebrating the Republican leaders from the House of Representatives after they squeaked out a close vote to replace the sputtering seven-year-old insurance law. The GOP put Obamacare's first foot in the grave on Thursday, passing a repeal and replace measure by the thinnest of margins as Democratic lawmakers taunted them with a clause of the Beatles song. President Barack Obama's namesake, medical insurance reform, is on its way to the dustbin. But so too the Dems hope will be the GOP majority ne after next year's midterm congressional elections. We knew that wasn't going to work, Trump said, of the Obama era Affordable Care Act, whose core structure had proved suffocating for medical insurers and for consumers stuck with a dwindling number of even more expensive policy options. I predicted it a long time ago. I said it's failing and now it's obvious that it's failing, the president boasted in the White House Rose Garden. It's dead. It's essentially dead. If we don't pay lots of ransom money over to the insurance companies, it would die immediately. Take a look at these clips. And we'll get to the video. Trump emerged from the Oval Office to cheers, facing dozens of Republican lawmakers and turning to great, uh, greet them with arms open wide like a conductor acknowledging his orchestra for a curtain call. We suffered through Obamacare, he said, promising that, yes, premiums will be coming down. Yes, deductibles will be coming down. In a hastily called vote following the adoption of a controversial amendment allowing some states to seek exemptions from coverage mandates, a 217 to 213 tally sent the American Health Care Act to the U.S. Senate where even more changes are expected. But Trump said, I feel so confident that the next round will also end in victory. We're going to get this passed through the Senate, the President said, as House Speaker Paul Ryan, Vice President Mike, Mike Pence and other Republicans and administration officials watched and cheered. The journey continues. We will get it done. A jovial chuckling Trump even nodded in the direction of his hated Washington press corps. I even want to thank the media, he said. Well, that's a, that's quite funny. Let's take a listen. Thank you. Thank you very much. This really is the group. What a great group of people. Oh, there and you are. they're not even doing it for the party. They're doing it for this country. Because we suffered with Obamacare. I went through two years of campaigning. And I'm telling you, no matter where I went, people were suffering so badly with the ravages of Obamacare. And I will say this, that uh, 
as far as I'm concerned, your premiums are going to start to come down. We're going to get this passed through the Senate. I feel so confident. I mean, it's, uh, I don't think you're going to hear so much right now. The insurance companies are fleeing. It's been a catastrophe, and this is a great plan. I actually think it will get even better, and this is, make no mistake, this is a repeal and a replace of Obamacare. Make no mistake about it. Make no mistake. Well, let's see. When it's the first day. Sorry about that. Ryan has urged lawmakers during the early afternoon hours to fall in line and vote for the Obamacare alternative, saying they should, quote, return power from Washington to the states. Let's help give people peace of mind. We can continue with this, this status quo, or we can put this collapsing law behind us, he said, referring to the Affordable Care Act, which gave the nation Obamacare and this failed experiment, I think both. I don't think there should be a, uh, any thing pushed upon the people. If it was so great, they wouldn't have to push it on people. We can continue with the status quo or we can put this collapsing law behind us, he said, referring to the Affordable Care Act, which gave the nation Obamacare. And this failed experiment, he said, to cheers from Republicans on the House floor. Let's make it easier for people to afford their health insurance. The speaker had become the week's uh, most high wattage lightning rod on the political right, catching grief for what looked to be a failure of leadership as factions split off and declared they won't, wouldn't support the American Health Care Act. He had been treated unfairly, Trump said Thursday, but it no longer matters because we won. For the last week, the president joked, I've been hearing Paul Ryan doesn't have it. It's not working with Paul Ryan. He's going to get rid of Paul Ryan. Then today I heard Paul Ryan's a genius. He's come along. Nor yeah, this is, this is what I'm talking about. I don't like what this is going on. North Carolina Republican Representative Mark Meadows, ringleader of the conservative House Freedom Caucus, joked at the podium that with right versus center wrangling out of the way and the vote over, he can count on few long nights of sleep. Mr. President and Mr. Vice President, for those late night calls, I'm glad that I'll get some rest, he said. Trump leaned over to Ryan chuckling, it's true. Yeah, now they're friends. See, backed health care bill passed the U.S. House of Representatives. When it's the oh, no. Night. Whatever. Let us know what you think in the comments below. But I'm not a fan of Paul Ryan's. And now uh, Trump will automatically likes him again. I mean, this is a little, uh, you know, nuts. Let us know what you think in the comments below. And uh, thank you so much for watching.